Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over something we see on satellite. We'll peek in on weather and seismicity. We'll find some old friends still up to great science, but we also have several things to point to in space weather, so we're going to start with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring has continued, but they are confined to the departing northern sunspot group. No significant CMEs were released by its flares. Big coronal hole directly facing Earth here, though, and that's where we'll begin because while we're on eruption watch, the most certain space weather variability in the forecast is about one to two days away when the coronal hole solar wind stream enhancement arrives. It's expected to produce minor geomagnetic storm conditions, modest auroral production. What we're watching the next few days is a bit trickier. The sunspots have been flaring, but they've been turning out of view to the right. Incoming spots don't look too big at all. That means the top watch is filamentary, but that scenario is less scary as well with the big southern filament departing to the right, just like the sunspots, smaller one incoming behind it. While I was waiting for CME signatures on SOHO that never arrived yesterday, figured some of you might be wondering about the little guy there below the solar blocking disk that is Mercury, and like most planets on SOHO, the reflective brightness of sunlight off of the planet and bounced back into the super sensitive camera gives it those flare wings on either side. The planetary alignment is tonight. Up next, Weather Channel issuing this alert for another winter storm, so I went to the upper level wind flows and oh yeah, going to be a hard one like the last two. Polar vortex pushing Arctic air that way and then the jet streams, they're allowing that mid-level air mass to shift south as well. Low and high pressure cells will do the rest at the surface. Folks, the seismic swarm is continuing in Greece beneath the supervolcano. Also had a five-pointer in Italy just next door as well. Very much focused on the recent uptick in this area. Hopefully it dies down soon. And last but not least, veteran observers might remember these names from our books, videos, and more in the past. Not only are they some of the best in the world at spotting solar forcing of earthquakes, but they're some of the professors who cited my foundational paper on the sun and earthquakes. Good team here, very good science. Folks, not only is coming out for an observer event something you don't forget, but it's the people that make it unforgettable. Can't talk observer science with everyone you know, can you? You can with everyone at the ranch. It's like a family reunion you didn't know you belonged to. Come see us, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.